In this Helix Minute, we're going to explain the tuning options on Helix Family products. Press and hold the tap foot switch until the tuner screen appears. On Helix Rack, you can hold the tap button. Knob 1 determines which input the tuner will listen to. The default setting is multi for multiple inputs, but can be changed as needed. Knob 2 determines the output while the tuner is active. If you prefer to hear nothing while tuning, choose mute. Knob 3 adjusts the reference pitch between 425 and 455 Hz. Standard pitch is 440 Hz. Knob 4 adjusts the tuner type between fine, coarse, and strobe. The fine tuning type shows the closest note at the top of the main display. When the indicator is left of center, the note is flat. When the indicator is right of center, the note is sharp. When the center box on the lower row is green, the top row of smaller bars can be used for more precise adjustments. The coarse tuning type is similar to the fine tuning type, removing the top row of smaller bars. The strobe tuning type emulates the spinning disc from mechanical strobe tuners. Bars moving left mean the note is flat, while bars moving right mean the note is sharp. The note is in tune when the bars stop moving. Knob 5 allows delay and reverb trails to ring out as well as the looper playback to continue running while the tuner is engaged. And Knob 6 controls the string offsets. Page right to see the offset options. Some players feel that adjusting certain strings slightly sharper flat in sense improves their overall sound. That's it for this Helix Minute. Please visit line6.com for more in-depth videos. Thanks for watching.